how are we all? Paul79 here, I hope you're safe and well. Welcome back, it's been two months at least, I'm sorry about that, but rest assured I have been busy on the car. So welcome to part 11 of my home uh, EV conversion where I'm attempting to uh, electrify a Porsche Boxster and also make it look like a GT3 RS. Now, in the last episode I was showing you how I mounted the Tesla large drive unit into the drift moto subframe and actually getting it into the car. Well, in that video, I didn't actually manage to properly install it because I had to do some more tweaks. But rest assured, it went in. And since then, I've been doing a ton of other stuff, mainly focusing on the back of uh, back of the car with the uh, the drive unit uh, and the battery boxes, but also around the rest of the car as well. I've laid all the wires, I've done all the plumbing, done new radiators, brakes, etc. So, what you're about to see is sort of a summary of two months of uh, of hard work, and uh, yeah. I'm pleased to say we've actually reached another milestone where I've actually installed it into the car for hopefully the final time during the build. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's have a look at what I've been up to. See you later. Bye. So the last time you saw this LDU sort of set up, it was a lot less busy. But now it's basically ready to go into the car. So... Um, Let's sort of start from the back here and sort of talk about what I've done. So, LDU, I've got the drive shaft stumps in here. So these are Model 3 um, splines with welded to the Boxster drive shaft fitting. So you just bolt the Boxster drive shaft straight up. Um, my high voltage junction box has uh, had some more modifications here. So I've had to put in some extra bits, namely fuses here for things like the charger, DC, DC, and the aircon. So they run, uh, so they will take the high voltage um, power that comes from the battery pack and send it to the DC, DC, and, uh, and the charger. Um, I've had to put in some, you know, special high voltage connectors. So here you go, here's my one for the DC, DC. This will be for the uh, heater and aircon um, that I'm having put in. Or I will be putting in and this side is for running high voltage to the charger well, that's the T2C connector and as before and yes yeah, so I've basically done all the all the uh, high voltage wiring here this is my current sensor that will connect to the Orion BMS um, which will sort of sit above it so then on the front of the top battery box is the place I decided to mount my DC DC which is here and my uh, Elcon 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. Um, so it meant I had to take all the batteries out of the top box again to sort of attach these because I had to drill holes in the box. But it's sort of the perfect place for uh, to to install these uh, these items. So here's the DC DC. So what this does is takes high voltage, um, let's just say 300 volts, and then dumbs it down to 12. And then that connects to your original 12 volt car battery. Um, so there's a positive there and then that's earthed there. So that acts as like an alternator. So it will charge up your normal um, battery. Um, so that's got the high voltage power coming into here. Here's a couple of connections, the, the, the low voltage to, to power the DC DC. These are my BMS wires that you've seen before that will uh, have to be fed through the engine bay. Then on this side of the box is the cooling side. So I've got my pipes coming out here. I've retested the uh, the battery cooling, uh, the, you know, of air pressure tested it. So there's no leaks. Um, but yeah, what we've got going on here is just a lot of wiring, earth points, etc. There's the uh, high voltage uh, wire that goes into the charger. This connects to the um, Type 2 connector, you know, your charging plug that's, that, that ultimately connects to the main grid to charge your car. That's the uh, 12 volt connector. And yeah, so it's all sort of one lovely, nice unit that I can lift up and install in the car. So another thing that I've had to do is the cooling system. So I've done it for all the batteries and the LDU, but if I just talk you through the LDU one here. So what we have is we've got pipes. So you can probably see where my finger's pointing, there are two pipes. We'll look at them in more detail in a sec. 
but they will bring coolant from the front of the car where the rads are um, into the back of the car and what I have done is basically made this cooling system here this pipe work for the LDU so we've got coolant so I've, I've got pipes here and I made these metal pipes that run underneath the battery box and are attached we've got a pump here and basically I need to connect um, a pipe from here to here so this is where the coolant goes in on the LDU the problem was is the standard uh, pipe wouldn't work because the way I have mounted the LDU which is upside down this gets in the way of this subframe I don't have much room so I've had a pipe made that's like an elbow that will come down here and then connect to this bit so I'm picking it up today um, but yeah so effectively the coolant goes in the um, in the motor and um, then it comes out here and I've got a rubber pipe here and it goes down here and then the same again right I've got my metal pipes that run under the battery boxes and out again and basically they will connect to these two pipes which run to the front of the car and that's all the original Boxster uh, cooling system so while we're in the engine bay let's talk through all the stuff I've done here it looks a bit different to last time but basically where do we start so what we have here is this is the original cable that took uh, power from the car battery the 12 volt battery to the engine to start it yeah so that will be connected to the DC DC that runs down through the car um, what we have here is me high voltage connectors here that are connected to the battery boxes but in short what will happen is the positive on the lower box here connects to that and it goes through this box here where there is a contactor so the idea is, is I'm not when the car is at rest it doesn't have high voltage power going through the car right so that's a safety thing this is my safety disconnect I'll show you what that looks like on the other side that's just boxed in so you've got current going that way and it goes all the way to the front of the car right and then there's going to be another battery box that will go through <clears throat> and then the positive of that will come back here and go all the way to the negative of um, the top box so I've got my two big cables there this connects to the high voltage junction box to send high voltage to the front of the car for my heater um, this cable here is where the connector is there that connects to the charger and at the front of the car is the type 2 connector to plug it into the wall and then what we have here is the cooling system that I've made for the battery boxes so <clears throat> this is the breather pipe this is the original breather pipe that uh, the Boxster had so that connects up to the expansion tank there but what we have we have coolant pipes in and out that come here ultimately you know so the bottom here these two go to the lower box these two I've got some bleed valves at the top will go to the top box but basically you've got a coolant pipe that puts coolant in and a coolant pipe that takes it out right so each box has got one of each connected to it this connects to the LDU um, and then these two pipes up here will go to the battery box that I'm going to have under the boot but it's not ready yet so I've just got them prepared but yeah lots of hose clips lots of p clips but yeah i'm going to tighten it all up in a minute or make sure it's all tight before i install the uh, subframe hopefully for the last time but yeah there's a lot of been a uh, lot of trial and error that's been going on in here um to get it all uh fitting nicely so while i'm down on my knees i thought i'd just show you so what i've been doing i had to have all these coolant pipes taken out or took them all out and then laid all the uh, high voltage cables um, up in what we could call the transmission tunnel even though it wasn't a transmission tunnel uh, but yeah there was a lot of space above these standard boxster pipes here to put all of these wires and what I basically did it was p-clips and on these main brackets here I made a sort of I got a bolt and a p-clip and sort of attached it to this so 
the cables are attached to these p-clips and then they're pushed up so they hang in their sort of air basically and are secured by these uh, uh, original boxer brackets yeah that's probably a better one you can see there you see what i've done there but yeah that took a good weekend to get that all sorted um these pipes these are the pipes for the the, the cooling battery circuit so they have run from the front of the car as well i'll talk a bit more about that in a sec so here we're in the inside of the car and we can see um this is what i talk about this is my safety disconnect so you can pull this plug out that basically severs the high voltage connection um in the wire so it will stop high voltage even if the ignition's on running along the front of the car so that's a safety thing that we any ev build needs to have then at the uh, front of the car so i've been working on this so we'll have another battery box here which i've test fitted you know there's the box there had it powder coated that will contain three modules but basically yeah so the positive from the uh, back of the car will come here connect to the negative of this pack here and then the positive will connect there and send it back to the back of the car uh, this is the high voltage uh, connections that i have for the um, heater that i'm going to have to put in and the air con compressor so they're just ready to go um, yeah so this uh, i've managed to cut up a few bits and uh, cut up the carpet here to fit that in so the battery box will mount on these um these special brackets that mount to some original mounting points on the car um, what else have we got here so here's some more pipe work for the uh, the cooling system so let's talk about the cooling system so on the box that we've got these are the main radiators here these are aircon rads i put brand new ones uh, on these uh, brand new radiators on these um, actually just yesterday because they were a bit uh, old the the other ones but effectively these two rads at the side will cool the LDU so I'll have one circuit and you saw the pump on the LDU sort of subframe so that'll pump the um, the coolant round and it uses the original all the original boxster pipes and the the nice metal pipes that I've made so that's one circuit then for the batteries I've got another radiator here so this is sort of just a universal type radiator that came with the car actually so I've made brackets um, got the breather pipe there and um, we've got lots of lovely blue pipes here but effectively the battery will have its own sort of cooling circuit the batteries so that's the rad that is in that circuit and then here we have a pump and then all of these pipes that basically pump the coolant round for that battery circuit and all the pipes in the back of the car that you saw there um, so it's sort of two separate circuits two pumps um, and yeah hopefully it'll work so other things i've done i've had to do is power steering okay so the power steering used to be off the original winging and the pump but i haven't got that anymore so what i bought again this sort of racing pump thing here that's like a, a reservoir and a pump and made these uh, pipes that go through here and connect direct to the um to the steering rack of the box stuff so um you can't really see it but those pipes will just go through that and connect there so that's all lovely um haven't done any of the wiring for it yet but i've just done like the physical sort of hard work and while we're here brakes so the this is a electronic brake servo actually from a tesla uh, I think it's from Model S, I don't really know, but it bolts straight in, so I've connected this all up to the original brake pedal. And the reason why I've got this is because the servo ran on vacuum, and uh, which came from the engine, and I haven't got that anymore, so this, is, this will hopefully make my brakes work and, and work very well. So I've just installed that, that's the original reservoir from the Boxster, because the Tesla one was a weird shape. Uh, and yeah, then we've got the brake lines here. I need to do some pipes and stuff to connect them from, I think this is the ABS unit to, to here, but you know, that's, uh, that's a job I don't need to do just yet. Talking of brakes, here are my Audi R8 brakes that I've refurbished myself. So they've got new pads, pistons, 
and such like painted them red stuck a caliper sticker on and had um some special brackets made to mount them um probably can't see that very well yeah there's the bracket you can see where it goes red and then black that's the bracket that enables them to fit but yeah um they came with the car uh and they were blue originally but yeah so i have um got them fitted and uh, it's nice to get them out of the way to be honest with you and um, while we're at it i've also fitted some adjustable caster arms so i could bring the wheel forward um because it was quite close to this uh uh, sill here and that's the problem that's a kit car problem not an ev problem but um yeah hopefully that will make the, the wheel sit better in the arch um had to move i always have to move these radiators forward you can see here we've got brackets here that's where the radiator mounted originally so i've moved that forward and had to extend the pipes here you can see these uh, metal pieces, but again, that's standard, that's a kit car problem. Uh, but yeah, so I've done all of that as well. So I'm now at a stage, once I've done the final checks, to be able to hopefully put this into the car. And I sort of need to do that to move further because the problem I have is in order to put the batteries in the front box, I'm gonna need to move the car back. Um, so I ideally that was the focus get this already put in and then I can do all the suspension here just bolt that all back put the wheels on I've got big brakes to go on here as well do new handbrake shoes or pads sorry and yeah then get the car wheel the car back and uh, be able to get my crane around the front here to then lower the batteries in. I've made all the battery, I've, I've connected all the batteries up here in the, um, for the front. These are all basically ready to go. But yeah, that's the plan. So she is finally in, hopefully for the final time during the build. Um, yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Just took my time with it. Um, I've put all the suspension back as well. Um, all pretty straightforward um, yeah so that's the view from the top now all the pipes are connected up there for the coolant batteries so for cooling the batteries got pipes down there as well and yeah um, pleased very pleased so there you go gang uh, a big milestone reached um, installing the LDU and subframe and battery boxes, hopefully for the final time on the build. Um, I'm sure there'll be times where I have to take it out, but fingers crossed, I've tested everything like coolant wise on the battery boxes. So hopefully um, we can crack on with the next stage. So what I'm going to have to do next is need to um, put new handbrake uh, pads on, discs, brakes, wheels and then get the car on the ground so i can move it back so then i can put my crane here to lower the batteries into the front box and at that point i'll have enough power to make the t2c uh, control unit work so i might be able to spin the motor for the first time so fingers crossed so hopefully it's not too long next time but anyway until next time see you later gang Bye bye <laughs>